and welcome to Helena's Tinseltown Tuesdays. This is your Muse cast for Tuesday, February 3rd. So I have a lot to cover in this Muse cast, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all done, but I'm going to try and talk really quickly if that helps. Okay, first off, Day Player YouTube Challenge. Everybody go to www.youtube.com slash the day player and check out the video, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, basically, it's me as the lead character in the day player, which is the web series that I'm producing and wrote and going to star and direct. Um, and her name is Lena and she has a challenge for you. And I would love for you all to post a video response. And thank you. A huge, huge shout out to Melody Platts, who is also AKA Melody Chef. She was the very first person to post a video response and it's awesome. So please check it out and watch it. Number two, I have a new website that I put up, um, www Helena's Tinseltown Tuesdays.com um, is to coincide with Musecast, so check that out. And number three, my actors group, aka CAG, which means it's a call to action group. And um, you guys met them last week, and I had my meeting this morning, and I kind of kept them hush hush. They were my little secret, but now I am divulging them to all of you. So here is some info about that group. Meet the CAG, aka Call to Action Group. The rest of the members are Amro Salama. Danny Morales, Barry Levy, Dane Nielsen, Joni Fox, Constantine Lavish, and Rupashri Jivaji. So I am on my way to my weekly actors group meeting. This is a group that you guys met last week. We were doing the reading at my friend Joni's house. We met in Scott Sadita's advanced audition tech class in, I guess it was like summer, end of summer maybe, um, of last year. It was um, formed by Scott Sedita in, um, in his book and CAG is a call to action group. Um, so uh, Helena was in our class <laughs> and decided to get everybody's information because before, before that in any of the classes I've been in nobody had, I hadn't like went to, would, had drinks with everybody after class or developed personal relationships with anybody really? outside. Of, yeah, I had them. That's so I thought so it was pretty cool. What do you think our actors group is beneficial? Uh, well, I think the main thing is that it just holds everybody accountable. I think that's the biggest thing, you know, so at least when you're sitting here, we have something to talk about if you just, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, oh, well, Monday morning, I better come up, you know? You, just have, you have to do something during the week, and then I think it's also, it's motivation, and also, um, you know, like, hearing that Amro's doing something, or, like, that everybody's working, kind of reaffirms the fact that, like, this crazy dream of, like, wanting to be on television or whatever, you know, like, actually exists, people are working or auditioning, or, you know, that the opportunities are out there, so I think that's... That's like my favorite part of it, the whole deal. What I also think is special about this CAG is that we actually meet every day. Because <laughs> CAGs or the core actors group always come in and they get out. And uh, this is the first time I've actually seen people go, we are meeting no matter what. And I think that's just, the persistence yeah. itself is is a huge step, you know. It's a good place to get support. That's one of the main things. The support, the energy, the positivity. And like you said, people start working, other people start working, and you just find yourself caught up and working. I just think it's, uh, you know, my favorite thing about acting and theater and whatever is that it's a collaborative art and I think coming together like this makes me remember how many different people and how many different dynamics it takes in the world to create art and... Everybody in this gang is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Cool. The closer the group gets, the more psyched I get when people start booking stuff. Yeah. It's almost like a victory for myself too, so yes. when you have that positive stuff yeah. coming in like yeah yeah it's, it's almost like you booked an audition yourself and when you have that feeling yeah. a lot of times i think that there's this whole like oh no i want that i don't want you to have that yeah. because i want it yeah. and i think that it's so backwards to think that way because it's like if dave's successful then that means i'm a good company so i'm going to become more exactly. successful but yeah. i think a lot of the people who are just like fighting to get to the top don't really see that it's a collective consciousness and a collective thing to raise the other up and then we can all rock. There's yeah. plenty enough to go around. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Close up. <laughs> And lastly, this coming week, I am going to meet with a photographer that I met on Model Mayhem to try and get some new headshots taken. I'm going to do next week's episode all about headshots and my struggles with the world of headshots because I have had many struggles. In any case, um, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all again next week.